Hey guys, going to do a book review today, but before I start, I pulled myself up a some refreshment. This is the Matariki IPA. Um, I did a separate review on this a um, couple of weeks ago. Fantastic beer. Um, it's a limited release, but hopefully Good George um, make this on an ongoing basis. So yeah, if you see any still in the shops, I'd grab yourself a can or two. Fantastic beer. So we'll put that down and we'll get on to the the main topic of the video. So I'm going to do a uh, my sort of thoughts um, and review of this book here. Uh, it's Randy Mosher, Mosher's uh, Mastering Homebrew. Uh, it was released uh, about four months ago, I think, about March of this year, 2015. And um, yeah, it's a fantastic book. It's clocking in at nearly 400 pages. And um, yeah, I'll just give you some thoughts on uh, the book. First of all, I want to say it's a fantastic book. It's probably one of the best um, books that I've read. Um, it says it's a complete guide to brewing, so it is an all-in-one book. So it covers all aspects of um, brewing beer. So yeah, what, what I really like about the book is um, in each of the sections, Randy has tons of cool diagrams, so this is the anatomy of a beer, so this is all about beer colour, um, what else has he got in here, talks about uh, barley, so he's got, like, this is what I mean, some really cool diagrams on barley and just what it's made up of, I mean you don't need to read the stuff but if you're interested it's there, um, a, talks about malt, there's a nice colour, malt colour wheel. So what he's done is he's, with these diagrams, he's crammed a whole lot of information rather than you reading, you know, you, you do read the section, maybe 10, 12 pages or whatever, but then he condenses it into um, like a reference diagram that you can come back to again and again. Um, interesting, because this is something... Uh, that I've uh, had a bash at, and that's roasting and smoking your own specialty malts. So he's, once again, he's got um, a diagram here, talks about how to achieve the different colours, and then up here he's got a sort of a chart, so you can go across the bottom, as he's got time across the bottom, temperature up the side, and then it gives you an idea of the colours that you can achieve. So yeah, these, these really cool reference and diagrams are dotted all the way through the book. Um, this is something else that I thought was pretty cool. Um, he's categorised all the hops into sort of groups. So he's got his noblesse hops down the side there. So yeah, all the different hops that you've, you're probably familiar with, he's put them into groups of similar types of hops, which is quite, you know, like your SARS, so we call them sars type hops. Um, so re he's actually interesting, he's got Rewalker in there, so he, he, he's saying that's a SARS type hop. Britannic hop, so I guess your you're, you're English hops. So you've got your, of course you've got East Kent Goldings, your Fuggles, Challenger, uh, Bramling Cross, etc. And the other cool thing he does is, I um, don't know if that's showing up there, but within each group he's got, down the bottom it's got woody and neutral and it goes all the way up to clean and classic so depending on what you want from a hop you can um, just use this the scale there and and you know pick a hop that suits what you're looking to get out of the beer uh, he goes into water or water um, uh, treatment or chemistry so once again I mean there's the sections are, are quite in depth but you know they're summarized um, with little diagrams, um, you know, how much carbonate for dark beers you should put in, um, chloride, sulfates, etc. And then this is a this is a cool little um, diagram here. It's called the Amazing Shape Shifting Beer Recipe. So you basically decide on what sort of beer you want, and you start from here and you follow it all the way through. He says, do you want smoothie gold, crisp and nutty, toasty and raisiny, black and roasty? So he told, tells you what sort of malts to use. 
And then hops, do you want soft and noble, Britastic, or Gonzo Lupulo, Lupolo? So I guess that's sort of real juicy, citrusy sort of hops that are coming out. So he's suggested, you know, you go for 70 IBUs and use things like Chinook or Cascade Simcoe Centennial. Um, so yes, it's just a flow diagram, but you can change the recipe up as you go along. So that's that's pretty cool. And that's the good thing about um, Randy's book is nothing set in concrete. He says in some of the recipes later on, if you want to use the same recipe, you change up the hops to get a different uh, outcome. Feel free. Goes into all the different um, sparging, recirculation, um, mash systems. Got your herms and your rims, etc. Um, sorry guys, I'm flying through this. I don't want the video to end up being too long. It's got a really good section on yeast. Um, just yeast and brewing, the different types of yeast, the pros and cons of dry and liquid yeast, yeast biology, another cool diagram there. So yeah, the book is just packed with um, tons of information, but he's broken it down into a really easy to understand um, way. Um, you can take as much or as little information as you want from the book. Um, it's a great reference book. It's certainly something that you would go back to time and time again. Uh, he talks about cellaring your beer, uh, wooden barrel aged beers. Um, what else have we got here? The art and science of a recipe. So rather, he does give you recipes at the back, but he also helps you to understand how to create a recipe or what goes into creating a recipe from scratch. So he's got these things called recipe strategies. So he's got like amber beer there. And on that side is red and brown beers. So for amber beers, he just gives you a bit of an idea of depending on what you want out of that amber beer, as far as color and taste, you know, what types of grains and what percentages to use. So that I thought that was pretty cool actually. Just I guess it gives you more information and ammo to be able to sit down and come up with your own unique um, recipes. Um, calculating colors, grist formulation etc for different styles, hops and recipes, um, yeah strategies for bitter, bittering versus aroma so if you want to get more aroma, where should you add your additions to get more aroma and less, you know, to get more aroma punch um, or more bittering. So yeah, it's a cool, very, very cool book. And then right at the back, I say right at the back, but it's a good hundred pages. He's got sort of recipes based on beer styles from around the world. So He's got a beer, here's one here, an English style one, it's called Multiple Personality, so it can be a bitter or a pale ale or an ESB. It gives you uh, ideas on how to create that. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry for whittering on a lot. So, a lot of you guys will be familiar with this book here, the Homebrew Beer Bible. Now they're both fantastic books. Um, would I say one is better than the other? I think it depends on what stage you are at your brewing. If you've just come into brewing, maybe you're doing um, kits, I would say this is probably a really good uh, entry level, entry level is not the right word, probably um, better overview. There's no, it doesn't go into so much depth on the technical side. But what I really love about this book, and it's something you know, that I'll keep going back for is probably the recipes. The recipes make up three quarters of the, of the book. This one on the other hand, if you want to probably take your, your home brewing to the next level, um, this is a really good all-in-one encyclopedic uh, reference book that you'll go back to time and time again. Um, 
So this is probably, this one's three quarters recipe, one quarter technical. This is probably the flip side, so it's three quarters more in depth on the processes and then about a quarter on the actual recipes. But it depends on where you are in your brewing. If you've, if you've got quite a bit of brewing under your belt, I would probably suggest this if you're looking for a all-in-one um, brewing book. 400 pages, covers everything. There's nothing it doesn't cover that I can think of. Um, so yeah, just decisions, you know. Um, new to brewing, probably this one, or relatively new to brewing, probably this one. But but having said that, I'll hang on to this for the recipes. This one if you're a bit more advanced. So um, sorry for rambling on, guys. Um, hope you got something out of that, and um, I will probably order a copy of this, I'm just borrowing this from the library at the moment. Uh, it's about 37 New Zealand dollars on book depository, so yeah, check it out. If you've got any questions on any particular aspects of the book, let me know, and I'll try and answer them. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time, and we'll get back to this. Cheers, over and out. Yeah.